Hello everyone. Today we're diving into something really interesting. French cinema's portraits of artists. French cinema has always been known for its unique take on creativity. Let's dive into how French filmmakers have captured the lives of artists and portrayed their creative journeys on the screen. French cinema is like a rich art form that really dives into creativity. The 1924 film, L'Agneau Men, for example, this early French film is a great example of how French films have explored art and artists in unique ways. Even though it's a silent film, L'Agneau Men takes a big impression with its bold, imaginative style. The story shows a young scientist. While he's not a traditional artist, his creation of a super stylized, abstract laboratory showed a broader idea of art history. The lab blends artistic vision with scientific experimentation, which adds to the film's surreal feel. French cinema has had a great way of exploring the lives of famous artists through biographical films. For instance, the 2016 film Cézanne et moi looks at the deep friendship between painter Paul Cézanne and novelist Emily Zola, following their journey from the hometown to Paris, a lively art scene. And then, the 1988 film Lautrec which gives insight into Henri de toulouse tolotrec life. Focusing on his artistic career and his passion, but challenging relationship with the fellow painter. Then there's 1991 film Van Gogh, which portrays Vincent Van Gogh's final years. The film highlights his struggles with mental health and his complex relationship with his host's daughter, while he continues to create his art. Each of these films gives us a compelling look at the personal and professional lives of these remarkable artists. One of my favorite biographical films is the 2013 film Kame Claudel, directed by Bruno Doma. It focuses on the artist's life during her 30 years in an asylum after a successful but troublesome career. The film shows her struggle and isolation with a deep sense of tragedy and dignity. The film shows the artist's story in a stark, almost spiritual way. Even fictional depictions of artists are fascinating especially when films blend these stories with real-life challenges. One such film is La Ame du Honneur from 1991, directed by Léos Carax. This French romantic drama explores the love and struggles of two artists. Alex is a street performer battling addiction while Michelle is a painter slowly losing her sight due to illness. Michelle dreams of seeing a painter by the famous Dutch artist Rembrandt. Alex is deeply in love with Michelle and tries to make her dream come true, but faces many challenges and makes some desperate decisions. It's a compelling look at how personal struggles can intertwine with artistic dreams. Interesting, right? Another film that really dives into how personal relationships impact art is Bonar Piar Mar by Martin Provo. This historical drama follows the life of post-impressionist painter Pierre Bonar. This film shows Bonar not just as a talented artist, but as someone deeply inspired by his relationship with Marth. It captures their passion, chaotic love, and how it influenced his art over five decades. 
if you're into movies that mix personal struggles with artistic achievements, this one is definitely worth checking out. And lastly, we cannot forget the famous 1991 French film La Belle Noimazu, directed by Jacques Rivet. It is a fascinating drama about a painter whose encounter with a girl reignites his creative spark and pulls him back into the world of art. French cinema and art go hand in hand with a unique approach to storytelling that often features films about artists. If you enjoyed the discussion, please like and share this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time.